In the early 90s, uh, he was diagnosed with, the neurologist called it uh, spinal cerebellum deterioration. That's what they called it first. And it affected his walk. He, he kind of uh, didn't walk right, just have a gait when he walked instead of just walking normal. So the doctor just put him on something to help with the spasms. With this disease, you, he does have leg spasms and uh, with a jerk. And one thing he has with this disease, you have a very overactive reflex. Like if the doctor hits him on the knee, his leg would come up and hit the doctor. And that was one of the things that they used, I guess, to diagnose it. Dad's got a lot of other different issues going on at the same time with the, the paraplegia, such as congestive heart failure. He has to do breathing treatments. We have to keep a very close eye on his blood pressure, and we have to keep a close eye on his fluid. There's a fine line between fluid overload and dehydration, and we have to very closely monitor that. As he got older, it began to affect him more. He's always had balance problems, which caused a lot of falls. Back in 1980, he had a bad fall and ended up in the hospital. But the balance problems, as the brain part is deteriorating, the balance problem got worse and worse. He had really damaged his back a lot, and he had extensive back surgery. They took a rib out and made a bone for his spine, but it helped and it kept him out of the wheelchair several more years. In 1996, he had surgery on his back, and during that time, he had his first grandchild, which is my oldest daughter. God's timing is always right because she was the little ray of sunshine that he needed to help him push through as he was trying to recover. We were hoping that it would be a surgery that would be able to correct issues to where he could continue with his normal lifestyle. Unfortunately, he ended up with another surgery and had to retire. About 1999, he had to start using a walker. About 2010, he had to start um, staying in the wheelchair all the time because of so many falls. Now, he cannot take a step. He can't walk at all. It's affected him being able to get out and do when he was such a hard worker that was kind of really hard for him. Daddy continued to try to do things. He couldn't do things as much as he did before, but he still tried to do things he used to. I look at my daddy and see somebody who will take hard times and find a way to still do. You know, it may not be what he could do before, but he's still doing something. He never complains, and no matter, I don't care what I do for him, he always is so appreciative and he's so thankful. He doesn't, doesn't gripe. I think that dad has made the best of you know, the situation he's given. I think that you know, even though um, his physical strength isn't there, um, he's still got the heart.